everyone, how you doing by you golf? What is this? It's a channel lock channel, right? It's been a while since we talked about the basics, so why not go through the bread and butter of channel lock, the protocols. First of all, what, what does channel lock do? It, for a right-handed golfer, for one thing, it keeps the whole left side out of play because we, hit, we start the ball on the right and it curves back in, okay? It's, made, it's a draw, it's made to hit draws. That's what channel lock is all about. No more slices. You guys that have slices problems, it'll get rid of it. But we have to have, we have a foundation. We got to have a foundation. Channel lock has protocols. The first protocol that stands out be, uh, above all other uh, golf swing systems is where we play the ball. It's off the back foot. I know, that can be a lot of problems to people, but it's only because it's up here. Folks, let me tell you something. I'm an average golfer. If I can hit back here and hit and pretty good, you can too. Protocol number one behind, the ball starts off the back foot. We get right, when we, when we hit in our channel, we're gonna to get to that. When we hit on our channel, the right shoulder, which usually causes slices for the beginner and, and average golfer, it, it can't even get into play. Usually the ball is up here and they're chasing it. Our ball is back here, and look at there, we already hit it. That is one of the great things about channel lock. It eliminates the slice. Protocol one, we play the ball off our back foot. Protocol two, we have to set a channel, we back cock. We back cock. What is back cock? Well, there's several ways to get into your channel. We're gonna start, we're just gonna do the basic one right here. And it's you have a target line where you want the ball to end up. But then in channel lock, we have a swing line. Okay? So back cock sets the channel. And you, and you notice my feet didn't turn. It was just this part right here turned, okay? Now that's, that is my channel. Now everybody's channel is gonna be different. You have to spend some time learning channel lock like you do any system, any system. But this is, I don't wanna say foolproof because that's ridiculous, there's nothing foolproof, but it's a whole lot better. Now once we set our channel, we swing in our channel. What is our channel? Our channel is our shoulder line. It's our shoulder line. If our shoulder line opens up, that's not good. Look where the ball's going. We set our channel, we swing on our channel across the ball, across the target line, having the face of the club aimed where you want the ball to go. Ball off the back foot. Now you can set the face of the club anytime you want. I like to do it when I address the ball. I, I turn it, I turn it to where I want it, then I grab it. I don't put it down there and then I start, you know, no, you don't want to do that. Put it and grab it, okay? Ball off your back foot, set your channel, face of the club, aim down the target line. What's that, one, two, three? You work out the numbers. One, two, three. Four, we swing across the target line. That's four. Five, five a five o'clock nose. Very important. You don't get the five o'clock nose out of this, you won't get channel lock or any golf swing as far as I'm concerned. Five o'clock nose is, like Jay says, he has a clock here. 12, six, five, okay? You set your channel, five o'clock nose. In other words, your eyes your sternum, your balance is right there, okay? Five o'clock nose. And when you, when you hit the ball, you keep that five o'clock nose down there as long as you can. Now it's gonna, sometimes it feels like the, the game's over sometimes. It feels like, I've, you know, I've had it, I've kept it down that long, but it's not, you'll, you'll come on out of it. But try to stay down as long as you can, because one thing, what that does, it helps keep you, now if you're swaying off your balance, you're screwed right there, but well, that's another day. But if you got your balance and you have that five o'clock nose and you're swinging around your spine, your sternum, everything, it's golden. Trust me, it's golden. Last protocol, lead shoulder. Do not open the lead shoulder. You come down here and look, look what happens when we lose a five o'clock nose. Oh, look, where did the ball go? 
Lead shoulder's going that way. Five o'clock nose, looking down the fairway. You haven't even hit the ball yet. Come on, man. Five o'clock nose. Very important. Okay? All right. We'll go it one more time. Protocol number one, ball off your back foot. Protocol number two, you create a channel. While you're setting up at address, this, this does not have to be a protocol, it could be an atomic particle, like J.H. likes to call it, turn the face of the club to your target where you want it to go. Protocol number two, channel lock. I'm not creating your channel. Protocol number three, five o'clock nose. Pro, protocol number four, swing in your channel, across. Protocol number five, lead shoulder closed. Five o'clock nose, then take a look at probably one of the best shots you might have hit in a long time. Those are the basics. Those are the basics of channel lock. They're not that many. We do not swing down our target line. You start swinging down your target line, you're not doing channel lock, period. Okay, forget about it. I don't care what somebody says. If you're not swinging in the channel, you're not playing channel lock, period. Case closed. You swing on, you swing on your, uh, uh, a target line, you're playing conventional golf or some other system that uses that, but it's not channel lock. Okay, that's the basics. Let's get some uh, video showing the, the, uh, the, the basics in action.